The trial of Kyle Rittenhouse begins Monday in Kenosha, more than a year after the teenager shot and killed two men and injured a third during unrest in the city back in August of 2020. Bruce Harrison spent the day in Kenosha to see what the mood is like there ahead of this high profile court case. Downtown Kenosha. It's a warm late October, a nice night to trick or treat. Businesses and families here are hopeful the Rittenhouse trial comes and goes peacefully. The concerns mm, I don't want to have is vandalizing businesses that we already have and people that has tried so hard to open back up. A gathering shouldn't turn into rioting. We have to live here. These Kenosha residents remember last year when protests rocked the city after police shot and paralyzed local man Jacob Blake. Shops were looted, businesses burned. During that time in August 2020, then 17-year-old Kyle Rittenhouse came here with a rifle. His defense says he traveled from his home in Illinois to protect local businesses. Prosecutors say he murdered two men and seriously injured another. Activists have been calling for peace ahead of the trial. Justin Blake, the uncle of Jacob Blake, says now is also the time to speak out against the killing in these streets. You've got a choice. You're going to sit at home, watch the news, go to school, you know, your regular agenda, or you're going to take the time to say, hell no not in Kenosha. Jury selection begins on Monday here at the courthouse. Centrally located, it's just a short walk to many area businesses. Shop owners along this road were hit hard during the protests. Many businesses closed and never came back. Those that remain, according to shop owners who spoke to TMJ4 off camera, say they're not doing anything differently. The town is calm, they say, and they've already lost enough business they're not boarding back up their windows. Back downtown, full of Halloween spirit, people really just hope to move on. Um, we should feel safe about now, and everything should be coming together as it was. Reporting in Kenosha, Bruce Harrison, TMJ4 News.